Hello, I'm Mario Master 727 here with another resting tutorial for you. In the last episode, we talked about how inverters work, and we made a little piston door with it. In this episode, I'm going to show something that uses the same concept as inverters, a transmission tower. Now, when you have inverters, as I showed in the last episode, you have a redstone torch on a block, and then when that block is powered, it turns the redstone torch off. This uses the same concept. When this block is powered, this turns off. But at the same time, this is powering this one, turning this off. So when this one is so this one isn't powered anymore. With this one, this one turns off. That, in effect, turns this one off when it's normally on, and so on. Kind of like a chain reaction. I use that to make a little cookie dispenser because everyone loves cookies unless you're a freak of nature. No offense to anyone who is a freak of nature. And I've made another demonstration with this. And I shall play the role of the unsuspecting fool. Oh look, three diamonds. And it has a little smiley face. It's got to be totally trustworthy. No, no, get me out. Wait, I forgot to create a food. No, no, get me out. And I died. So here you can see how it works. First of all, whenever you step on this pressure plate to connect to this redstone that turns this piston on, which is pretty simple, but it's also connected to this transmission tower that in return inverts the signal and turns this piston off. Up here you can see I have some lava. So when you step on this, the piston opens and the lava comes out. So it's pretty simple how transmission towers work, and that's really the main way that you can do like your vertical redstone. You can also do it like this glowstone, like put one here, then put one here one here and we we'll may have like piston here you can see it does transmit upward but this is a little more clunky I find that transmission towers work a lot better so that's it for this episode and the next episode I will be showing some new concepts involving repeaters so I'll see you then